Hey brown bears and market pears, it is time for the last ever day in the word of 2015. <laughs> As I said last week, in 2016, we're gonna start off with a brand new Day in the Word series. But as for today, we're gonna start with Psalm 139. Let's get to it. Okay, let's begin this little extravaganza by reading verses one through 12. So in this beginning section, we discover something kind of amazing, and that's that we are intimately known by the God, the creator of the universe. And not only that, but this God of the universe, he actually cares for us. In verse 5, it says, you hem me in behind and before, you lay your hand upon me. And not only does this God care for us, but this God also watches us over us. In verses 9 and 10, it says, if I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. So we see here that not only are we intimately known by the God of the universe, but he cares for us and he's constantly watching over us. Now don't worry, this isn't like a scary thing, like God's watching you. It's more like a reassuring thing, like God's watching you. Ah. This verse should sort of be a reassurance to us that even when we think we're alone, we're never really alone. God is always with us. Let's move on now to verses 13 through 18. So this section of scripture kind of takes things to the next level, or we see even more things about our relationship to this God. So not only are we intimately known by God, and not only does he care for us, and not only does he watch over us, but back it up, he also created us. And you see, this God, he don't make mistakes. If we look in verse 14, the psalmist says, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And wait. There's more. Not only does he make us, not only has God created us, but he also has a plan for us. In verse 16, it says, Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So let's review. This God knows us, he cares for us, he watches over us because he created us and he has a plan for us. Wow. That's an encouragement to somebody this morning. I don't care what it is an encouragement. Let's finish up now versus what? 19 through 24. First off, I want to say, if you need proof that Jesus' little love your enemies lesson was totally groundbreaking in his day, all you have to do is look at this little section of scripture. Seriously, David is straight up like, I hate my enemies. I hate my enemies. I wish nothing but evil for them. I have nothing but hatred for them. When Jesus came on the scene in this sort of day and age, at this sort of time, even though it was many years later, when Jesus comes on the scene and says, love your enemies, People's minds were blown. Just a little side note. But really, I want to focus on verses 23 and 24, and I want to read them again. They say, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Now, this is an extremely brave and vulnerable prayer to pray. What this verse is saying is it's asking God to search my innermost being and know every single part of me. Search my heart and find out everything that's in there, even the things that I'm ashamed of, even the sinful patterns, even the deepest, darkest things, that the darkest thoughts that I would never want anyone to see, 
This verse is asking God to search those things out and to redeem them. That's a scary thing to do. But we have to remember who we're praying it to. We're praying it to a God who, as we just talked about, knows us, cares for us, watches over us because he created us and he has a plan for us. So when we pray this prayer of search me and know me, God, we're praying it to a God that we can trust 100% with every part of us, even the ugly parts. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching this episode of A Day in the Word. This is the last episode of 2016, possibly our last video of 2016. Friday, we will have a brand new video, January 1st, and make sure you tune in because it is a big, big announcement. Small change, big announcement. I'm really excited about it. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. I heard Jesus came. Actually, John, he's always been here ever since Matthew 28 when he said, I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. Shut up, you Christian. In case you missed the last video, Merry Christmas and a happy, happy new year. Thanks for watching and say it with me. Keep being awesome.